Imagine a nation poised on the cusp of greatness, a country brimming with potential, just waiting for the right moment to ascend the global economic stage. Welcome to Investing Path, where today we're unveiling the story of Iran, a land of untapped wealth and uncharted financial promise. Iran is a land that beckons with opportunity. With a young, vibrant population of 88 million, this country could become one of the world's leading economies. The youth are well-educated, eager to innovate, and fuel growth. Furthermore, Iran's soil is a treasure trove, rich in minerals and resources, home to an estimated 5% of the planet's extractable metals. Venture beneath its surface, and you'll find the second-largest natural gas reserves on Earth with oil wells that outshine those of the UAE and Qatar combined. Geographically, Iran stands at the crossroads of continents, a bridge between Asia and Europe, with the vast blue expanse of the world's oceans within easy reach. Despite current challenges, investors still cast hopeful glances toward Iran, often referred to as the final frontier of emerging markets. Why? Because to foster economic growth, a nation requires three crucial ingredients, land, labor, and capital. Iran is blessed with all three in abundance. Imagine if Iran were to leverage these assets to the fullest, its economic output could rival giants like Germany, Japan, or even the United States and China. Sounds incredible, right? Stay with us. And this might not seem so far-fetched by the end of our journey together. As of now, Iran's GDP stands at $360 billion. On a per-person basis, that's akin to the economies of Sri Lanka or Lebanon, countries grappling with their own set of crises, devoid of Iran's natural wealth. At the helm of Iran, however, is an authoritarian regime, often criticized for prioritizing its grip on power over the prosperity of its people. In doing so, they inadvertently stifle their own wealth accumulation. So, how did Iran deviate from its once promising economic trajectory? What holds it back from realizing its full potential, and why might its leaders be content with this stagnation? These are the questions we'll unravel as we dive deep into the economic saga of Iran. Before we move forward, if you're finding this exploration enlightening, and you're keen on navigating more financial landscapes with us, remember to subscribe to Investing Path. Now, let's continue our expedition. The economic landscape of Iran today took shape post-1979 post-revolution. The previous monarchy was uprooted, and the Islamic Republic of Iran was born. Surprisingly, this seismic shift happened even as Iran was experiencing robust growth and rising affluence. There were no telltale signs of impending upheaval, no wars lost, no financial crashes. Yet, the revolution rewrote Iran's destiny. Economics is our forte here at Investing Path, not geopolitics. Yet, it's hard to overlook how Iran, embroiled in conflict with Iraq shortly after its internal revolution, had its economy pivot entirely to war efforts between 1980 and 1988. The new regime nationalized industries and went a step further. It seized the assets of dissenting citizens, handing them to entities known as bonyads. Bonyads, originally conceived during the monarchy, continued under the new regime. These are behemoths, tasked with aiding the impoverished but, in practice, operate vast swaths of the Iranian economy. Funded by the government, exempt from taxes, and free from the need to disclose financial dealings, these entities answer only to Iran's supreme leader. They're responsible for about 20% of Iran's GDP and employ a significant fraction of the workforce. This has had dire consequences for Iran's economy. The lack of transparency and accountability stifles entrepreneurship, foreign investment, and ultimately, economic growth. This, paired with the crippling international sanctions over Iran's nuclear program, paints a grim picture. The sanctions, designed to deter Iran from nuclear development, have instead pushed the nation further away from the global economy, exacerbating its economic woes. But let's pivot towards a brighter potential future. Picture a world where these obstacles are overcome. If Iran could reform its political and economic systems, if it could embrace a more open and transparent market economy, if the sanctions were lifted, its economic metamorphosis could be staggering. From tech startups to ecotourism, from harnessing solar energy to becoming an international transit hub, the possibilities for Iran are as varied as they are vast.
For those with the patience to navigate the complexities of the Iranian market, the potential rewards are tantalizing. The path forward for Iran is fraught with challenges, but also laden with opportunities. For Iran to become the economic powerhouse it has the potential to be, the necessary reforms might seem daunting. Yet, the foundations are already laid. The workforce is ready, the resources are waiting to be harnessed, and the global market is eager to welcome a new, vibrant economy into the fold. Iran's strategic geopolitical position could serve as a linchpin for regional trade, offering a gateway for the East to access Western markets and vice versa. This geostrategic advantage is not just a matter of maps. It's about the potential to be a central hub for the Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to intertwine Asia's economic giants with the rest of the world. This could make Iran a central artery for the flow of goods, services, and capital, turning it into an economic nexus point with global influence. As we chart Iran's potential, let's not forget the country's rich cultural heritage, which could fuel a lucrative tourism industry. Iran's mosaic of history, culture, and natural beauty remains largely untapped in terms of international tourism. From the ancient ruins of Persepolis to the bustling bazaars of Tehran, Iran's potential as a travel destination is vast. The Iranian diaspora, widespread across the globe, represents yet another underutilized asset. This community of well-placed, often highly skilled individuals could forge transnational ties, bringing in investment, innovation, and expertise. Leveraging this network could be key in propelling Iran forward, transforming it into an incubator for cutting-edge technologies and a crucible for international partnerships. Yet, all these possibilities hinge on Iran's ability to enact reforms that would foster a conducive environment for investment and development. This means establishing a rule of law, ensuring property rights, and creating a transparent and fair business climate. The journey to such reforms is not without its roadblocks, yet the allure of what awaits on the other side could be the catalyst for change. In conclusion, the narrative of Iran is one of contrast, between potential and reality between hurdles and the promise beyond them. As Investing Path continues to explore these economic landscapes, we remain attuned to the shifts that may unlock the vast potential of nations like Iran. Thank you for accompanying us on this insightful excursion. Remember, investing is not just about markets. It's about understanding the fabric of societies and the dynamics that drive them forward. That wraps up our latest episode on Investing Path. If you enjoyed this exploration and wish to navigate through more economic intricacies, hit the like button, subscribe, share with your peers, and discuss in the comments below your views on Iran's economic saga. For more content on emerging markets and investment analysis, click on the notifications bell so you never miss out on new releases. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next path to investment enlightenment.